Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantal. This is my basic journey. I live and travel in my minivan with my dog Joey and we're currently in Quartzsite, Arizona. Quartzsite is kind of known to be the place to go during the winter if you're a nomad or an RVer or van lifer. There's events and meetups all winter long and it gets really busy out here but it's so much fun. What I love most about it is that pretty much any direction you go in Quartzsite you're going to run into a free camping area. And so the first one I went to was Scat and Wash, that's where I'm at right now, um, but we're leaving here today. And so I figured I would bring you guys along with me. We're going to go into Quartzsite, I'm going to stock up on some things, and then I'm going to head to another free camping area. So, let's go. on Mitchell Mine Road toward Dome Rock Road East. Continue on Mitchell Mine Road for half a mile. Well, you guys, we're at the Ehrenberg Flying J. I'm gonna pick up some lunch at Wendy's here. <laughs> it's so busy. It's probably not busy in the camping area, but this gas station is just crazy right now. Like, I can't. <laughs> Look at all these people. It's so nuts. Wow. All right, you guys, we're heading to the Ehrenberg BLM area. The road is not very good and it gets worse. So, just forewarning if you're gonna come out here, it does get worse. Oh, hey guys. So we are at the Ehrenberg BLM area. I've actually been here for a few hours. I uh, stopped to do some work and then all of a sudden the sun was setting. So I was like, man, I should make some dinner before, you know, it gets too dark to go outside and do anything. So here we are. <laughs> and uh, there's definitely more people here, which is pretty cool because Skadden Wash, where I was last year and it was like so packed, it was completely empty. It was very weird, but it looks like more people are here. So I actually came to Ehrenberg because I have to pick up a package in Blythe, which is literally like two minutes from here. So yeah, I just came here because I have to pick up a package in two days. So I didn't even set up all the way. I just kind of put up my table with my stove. But other than that, it's just going to be a chill couple days kind of waiting for this package to come in. So here we are in the Ehrenberg BLM area. 
So it's really late right now, but I randomly decided that I wanted to check on the package that I'm expecting and it came in early. So I'm going to actually leave this spot tomorrow, even though I just got here and go pick up my package in Blythe and then head back to Quartzsite, I think. I haven't really decided if I want to go back to Quartzsite or just come back here. I'm not really sure. We'll decide in the morning. Well, I was able to pick up my package and now we're going to head back to Quartzsite and I was trying to decide where I wanted to go because there are tons of different like camping areas that you can go to, but I really want to go back to Scad and Wash. It's my favorite place out of all of the camping areas. I don't know why. Maybe it's more of like a nostalgic thing because it was one of the first places I went and it was also where I met the most people. So I think I'm going to go back there. There wasn't a lot of people there. There was a lot of people at the Ehrenberg BLM area where I just was. But I think that I just, I think I want to go back to Skadden Wash. It's nice there. It's open. There wasn't a lot of people. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're back in Skadden Wash. And we're actually in the same exact spot that I left. <laughs> and I'm working on some editing right now. It looks like it's getting pretty gray. So I checked the weather. And it's supposed to rain tonight into tomorrow. So I'm not going to set up everything. It's okay. still haven't really felt the need to set up camp all the way because we're supposed to have 25 mile per hour winds later tonight. So this is as good as it gets this time right now. And I'll probably have to take this down because it'll probably blow, blow away because a 30 mile per hour wind gust will knock this over. This is uh, some Garden Szechuan beef, Brussels sprouts and carrots, and then these are some noodles. 
and make some chow mein. You guys have seen this before on my channel because I eat the same thing all the time. <laughs> yep. Hey, Joe. Hi, bud. Are you just the cutest boy in the whole world? Hello, buddy. I love you. Want to come outside? You can come out here, Joe. He's like, nah, I like the van. Just a cloudy day today. At least it's not raining anymore. So I've just been sitting at camp and just thinking, you know, I'm going to be in quartzite for the next couple of months. And I remember feeling this way last year when I got here, where I'm just kind of sitting here and enjoying this desert beauty and just hanging out at camp. And I get almost a sense of anxiety. It's weird because I look forward to coming here so that I can relax because the desert kind of has this way of making you just chill. And I almost feel anxiety about it. Like I should be out doing something. I don't know. And maybe it's because working hard to the point of exhaustion is <laughs> kind of expected in this society. And you would think after a year and a half on the road and living this lifestyle that I might be able to get rid of that mentality, that rat race mentality that I've been engraved into my brain since I was a little kid but I really am trying to get out of that mentality to be able to just sit here and relax and enjoy it without feeling like I need to be doing something <sighs> it sure is beautiful out here though and when I finally do get those moments where I'm not thinking about like what I need to be doing or where I should be going or what I need to be filming and all of that and just life in general it's so nice and it's so relaxing and I love being out here <sighs> man but honestly after all of that I wouldn't trade this lifestyle for anything I would not want to change a thing about it I mean maybe besides getting a bigger van but I can't see myself going back to a normal life. I just really can't. I can't see myself going back to a nine to five. I can't see myself going back to a sticks and bricks rent. I just can't see myself doing that. I tried for a very long time to do what I thought was expected of me and to live a certain way. And it just does not work for me. And maybe you guys feel the same way too. Maybe that's why you're drawn to this lifestyle because you're not made to live the way that they tell you you're supposed to. And that's okay because I'm not either. And I love it out here. I love living on the road. I love being able to travel full time. And it's so nice to get these moments of downtime. I don't know, even if I may feel anxious every now and then, Whenever I sit and I really think about it, I am so freaking lucky to live this way, to be able to do what I love. This is just, I can't even tell you guys how grateful I am. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining my Patreon. You guys are amazing and I would not be able to do this without you guys. Seriously, I would not be here still to this day if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos. I can't even tell you how grateful I am. So I know this video is a little bit all over the place, but I hope you guys can forgive that and I hope you liked it anyways. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!